It's alive! It's alive! <laughs> yes! Yes! Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Welcome to Jimmy's World, where this airplane has not legally flown, well, not legally, been an annual for 22 years, and we just started it up, and here's how it went. Hey, look at this. It looks like a real airplane with seats and paneling. I mean, we still gotta put that stuff back there. But check this out. Let me switch it around for you. <gasps> Ooh, yeah, huh? Look at that. We got carpet in and our panels. And I left those seats out because I'm just tidying things up for that very back part. But we are ready to do the, uh, the ground run and see what we can see with this thing. Now I do know that whenever we do the ground run, my first thing is gonna to be to keep an eye on that oil pressure because of all the crazy, the gauge and the washers and springs and all that stuff. So that's gonna be my number one priority. Uh, and then after that, we just gotta play with stuff, see what's working, if we missed a wire or a connection or who knows what, but it, uh, I'm pretty excited. So we'll get to start this thing up tomorrow, tomorrow. Holy crap, the day is finally here. Look what's hooked up to it. Oh, oh, we get to move it out and it fired up. I'm a little nervous, excited. I'm not so nervous because we're not flying it right now. We're just gonna do the startup and ground run and stuff. But we're there, totally there. So excited. All right, I'm too excited. I can't do a video right now. We, we need to go. All right, boys, here it goes. Moving on out. Holla. Yes! Look at that! And now we're going to see just how dirty this thing is from sitting in here for four months. He's going to go grab the fuel truck and put a few gallons in the main tanks. Wow, with the airplane going, it just, you know, you gotta go through step by step and the airplane will come together in due time. That is the nectar right there, boys. Woo, good stuff. Giggity, giggity. All right. Put this on we are main. sitting in the airplane, getting ready to do the initial start. So let's see what we got. Parking brake. All right. A bumpy fuel pump. That's up. Dude, we got to lube your throttle. That's a machine. It hasn't been used in a while. Clear prop. Clear prop. Wow, that fired right up. Oil pressure. There it goes, starting to come up now. There we go. Fired right off, didn't it? Easier than I expected. Idling right at a thousand. Do we want to turn the avionics on or? Yeah. Yeah, so we can get some engine 
different parameters. good number six cylinder is showing temperature that's the one we were worried about that was oil fouled oil pressure 50 and showing about 50 over there so that's good there is the regular spring with no washers okay there are no rpm sensor no ripples no ripples all right so we'll check out that you gotta get one of the scoopy things yeah here. Check it out, we're moving under our own power. Nick stop the Bahamas. Oh, promises, promises. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got here. It's acquired some satellites, it knows where we're at. So far, everything is working well. Oil pressure is a little bit lower than what I would like it, so we'll oil address, address that. The oil pressure. And our volts are at 13.7, which is acceptable. We'll might take a look at that, see if it's got an adjustable uh, uh, regulator. And so far, this is with the fuel pump off, the electric pump off, so that's good. Pleased. Where is your? All right, up here it's showing we got a temperature of 132 on the oil temp, and over there the oil temp is not showing anything. So we'll take a look at that. And we're getting ready to do our first run up here and check the brakes. Let's <laughs> see how we did there. Sensor. No RPM there. Oil temp on Oil the temp. thing over there and our idle. Idle. Okay. That's an easy one there. Should be an easy one there. Right. I'm gonna go up again and see what we get for RPM. See where it stabilizes. It was there. at 2600 last time. Aren't you ready? Yeah. I'm watching everything else that you look at.
it, yeah, it catches up here. On that. Hey, up here. All right, just a couple little little things. Not bad for touching everything on the airplane. All right, here we are again, and the RPM sensor. It looks like it goes into the other vent plug. So if you look over here, here's the mag. There's one vent plug on this side, right there. And then there's another one buried way the crap down in there. Now, when I was looking around trying to figure out how to get to that one, I noticed that my vacuum pump here only had three nuts on it. I don't know if you can see down in there. It's missing the one below this one. So, and that one, it's all old and busted and da -da -da -da, Jason had a really nice one that was in all that stuff that I bought off of him. So guess what's going on there when I take that one off? I'm gonna put the newer, nicer one on there. Thanks, Jason. Bam, you are rocking this project out. Thank you, sir. Once again, save the day. Phew. Okay, Ooh, got some wind going on here. Hey, let's try that, all right. Hey, we've got all the detail stuff figured out. The RPM, turns out I was trying to put it on this one right here, and it goes on the one that's way back here in a massive pain I'm about to get to. And I took the vacuum pump off and found that the bolt or the nut down on the bottom wasn't on there. And I know why now, because that thing is a nightmare. You gotta have a special funny looking, you know, wrap around a corner wrench to get that on there, but we got her done, boys. We got her done. And then, let me think what else. Uh, the oil pressure or oil temperature was just the wire on the back of it that was uh, flipped around. So got that switched around and that's going good now. And I put the white oil spring in, in here. So then we'll start up again and see how that one does. And the only thing left is the idle adjustment, which uh, is just an adjustment down there. So we'll see how, you know, if we can adjust it down that far and see where that gets us. Next stop is another run up and then pew, in the sky, baby, flying this bird back in the air where it belongs. Hallelujah, holy moly. We are here. Four months, probably 100, 120 of my work hours. So a normal person probably would have been like 80 hours for a normal AMP. But uh, we got it done. 